How could the martial arts develop under this regime? Well, it's very difficult. Obviously, anything that had to be done had to be done in complete secrecy. But I come back to the links with China again. Very importantly, although the Satsuma clan had conquered uh, Okinawa, um, they didn't want to upset the Chinese, and in fact, they tried to keep it secret from the Chinese, uh, even to the point of hiding from the Chinese when their envoys came from China to visit Okinawa. So we still had a lot of interchange of uh, ideas and people between China and Okinawa, and the so-called Okinawan masters travelled to China quite a lot. And there's a very uh, nice um, story about a Chinese master coming to uh, Okinawa. Uh, he's called uh, Kusanku, but it's believed now that that's not his name. Kusanku just means envoy in Chinese. But he came over and was a teacher of um, some of the masters leading up to the very important masters of the 20th century in Northern Karate. And uh, Akata was named after him, Kusanku obviously, but uh, that has been changed in Shotokan Karate to Kanku Kata, Kanku Dai and Kanku Sho Katas that we have, named after this Chinese envoy. So the interchange of ideas between China and Okinawa carries on. And the, chi the Okinawan art of um, Te develops um, with these Chinese influences into what was called uh, by the uh, early 18th century Tode or China Han. And this was the direct predecessor of karate um, as we know it now. Now, this developed through the uh, 17th, 18th, 19th centuries um, and in fact developed mainly around three towns in Okinawa. Shuri, Naha and Tomari and the styles were called Shuri Te, Naha Te and Tomari Te, uh, not surprisingly. Tomari Te eventually became subsumed into Shuri Te and Naha Te. Um, they were not very different in content, these styles, a difference, a slight differences in emphasis perhaps. Shuri Te was uh, a form of, of Okinawan Te which was influenced by northern Chinese fighting styles and um, Naha Te was influenced by the southern styles. So they had different emphasis if you like and eventually these two styles um, developed into what we now know as the Shorin Rui or Shorin School of Karate and the Shorai Rui or Shorai School of Karate uh, by the end of the 19th century and it's fair to say that most styles of karate um, developed from these two styles at the end of the 19th century.